Hello, so after trying to do the fight one more time, I think you need about 5 to 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes to learn his movement set and then maybe another 5 to 10 minutes to actually defeat him. So we'll just use the old trick that the developers still haven't patched out. What he cannot really cross the invisible wall near his little cave. So if we just wait around here, he'll turn around with his back and then you can hit him in the face. And jump back to the safety of the cave. It's so dangerous to do the, the overhead swipes. I think we can also hit his tongue while he does that. But if he catches you during that red attack, you are dead. I guess you just have to be patient, wait until it turns around. And then get get enough force to do a, an overhead swing. I cannot believe the developers still haven't patched this. And that's it, poor Rock the Bog though. And let's see what the treasure he was guarding. You're not supposed to do this fight until much, much later. Sorry about your scalp link. But standing up to that bog rat? Pretty great. Where Bogling was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? The poor guy was really killed, ah, that's a shame. So yeah, like I mentioned, even if you do the fight very very early, you don't get a lot of it. I think you, we got a lot of experience, but not much anyway. And as you can see, you still have to come back later, so I really hope for the next game, they modify this thing where you have to come back later, even if you defeat a huge boss. Also, that floor over there is very annoying because it doesn't let you jump over it. So it makes you walk a little bit sorry about the the weird fps i don't know what's wrong with it i think it was much better the first time i played it but now it's worse again it's only during certain parts of the map which is even more annoying okay let's continue our adventure Yeah, I don't understand this. Why would you make such a great game and, done, and then not patch it, not improve it, not do anything to it? Come on guys, don't destroy all, all of the furniture. Yeah, again, I'm very sorry about this. I don't know what, how to fix it. Sometimes it just drops FPS because the game was not optimized even after all this time. So over here at the Great Divide, I think we just have to jump down. And preferably not die. Map doesn't help at all most of the time. Help! No! I forgot about these guys, they killed me the first time as well, so the problem with these bugs is that they basically jump at you, they rush in your face, so unless you can, um, well I don't want to say parry them, unless you can attack them one at a time, you cannot really kill them fast enough. <laughs> 
Yeah, I really hope they learn from all of these mistakes they made with the first game. But I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. And then you don't get a checkpoint on that side. Look at that sleeping dragon. He's so peaceful. I hope we can all be as peaceful as him. Yeah. And then go back through... Okay, maybe if I don't run the FPS will not drop. Yeah, if I don't run the FPS doesn't drop. Oh, that still uh, still annoys me that I don't know how to get that other one. Maybe I have to go on top of it and then lower myself down. I heard you. Hmm. I think sometimes the dragon yawns and moves to his side. And if I remember correctly, I'll try this part. You just have to attack him a couple of times to kill him. Uh, yeah, maybe we should go over there? Maybe. Yeah, let's meditate a little bit. Oh, we can sense the echo from this little thing. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Well, not us. Oh, come on, I just came over here. That's so rude. Oh, I forgot I can scan most of the things. Oh, that's a bog rat. Easy to parry. Where are you going? To get me another useless piece of junk. Yeah, want a poncho? No, thank you. I think we have to go at the bottom of the elevator, but let's go up over here and to see what's here. Oh, this just takes you back here. <laughs> I like that they show you the chest is over there. Can you get it? Yeah, I think this is where I can cheese the Ogdo Bogdo or the little or the big lizard to kind of jump away from the ramp and kill itself. Yeah, I remember this part so well.
I don't know why, because I played it so much, that's why. I think, like I said, I spent 5 or 6 hours on this planet just exploring and doing stuff. Which you shouldn't really do, because you're just making the game harder for yourself. Yeah. Jedi Knight 1, that other guy 0. You're just supposed to reach this meditation place, so again, <laughs> this is how you cheese the game into get gaining a lot of experience. At, I think at some point I was able to do it 100%. So this is a simple Ogdo, it's not an Ogdo Bogdo. I guess you can slow it down to cut its tongue. Saber resistant. Alpha Predator. And then you can also kill some of the rats from here. Job. You still back there? Uh, I don't think scanning helps. Can you put that down? Can you restore it? We might need the force push for this, or I don't know. I don't think we have the skill unlocked to, to do that, okay. Let's, get, let's just get out of here, it's getting on my nerves knowing that you have to do so many things just to play the game, okay. <laughs> let's play the Ogdo Bogdo Slayer again. So come over here, rest again. Okay, no, that's not the proper way to do it, I forgot. I guess I have to slow it down. Also, I don't understand another thing. Why does it take so long to load when you die versus quickly reloading when you jump off a cliff or something? I guess you have to think about your actions and why you died. That's why it takes longer. I distinctly remember hating this, so you either have to guard until it dies or jumps off the cliff or you have to you have to bait it to charge you and then it will jump off and die. Yeah, my memory is not as good as it used to be in this area. I guess I simply ran out of stamina this time, yeah. It takes a long time until you get your first level up and you can invest the points into having more health. I think I killed the creatures, the little creatures and I gained one level up and then I started farming the Bogdo. Which is not a bad idea. Okay. Yeah. 
See? Much better. And we almost have the juicy, juicy level up. I mean, it will be much better with, a one, with one more level up. Oh, skill point acquired. And I think I was level 6 before I left this area, because you can do this so fast. <laughs> alpha Predator. You farmed the Alpha Predator of this planet, so that means makes you the Alpha Predator. Skill tree. Maximum health increased. And I think this will allow us to uh, superior blocking, which is definitely the next one I should get. And after that, I think I don't need any... Well, maybe more force power would be nice, but it's not mandatory. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to rest for the thing to respawn. Yeah, with superior blocking, you can kill that much more easier. And I really want to slow it down once it uses its tongue. It also likes to jump like that. Uh, grateful. Well, I think you got a general idea. You can also make it jump off the cliff a lot of times, but at this point you can farm it because you have a little more health and then with superior blocking it will be 10 times easier. I guess we can kind of go this way, but I think we need to unlock the power to do the wall running. Which is kind of annoying, like I said, the game doesn't, doesn't really tell you all of those things, as you can see. Now what else? Let's just rest over here and let's go. To be honest, I think I want to play more of it. I want to play much more of it, because I miss playing a good RPG game and FPS will get better beyond this area, I think. So we have a little bit of a mystery over here. Got a scan? A parafish. Well, I don't remember killing any fishes. I don't remember ever getting this seed when I first played Kelp. Oh, that's so shiny. I want the shiny. I guess we have to wall run it. Maybe not, maybe I have to do something else that I'm... That is maybe easier to do. No, 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 that will not work. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. The dragon is looking at us.
soon. Uh, he's actually quite peaceful and he doesn't do anything wrong. He just wants to be left alone, probably. Let's go, BD1. See something in there? Okay, knowledge required. Oh no. Slow moving again. I guess this is what the game teaches us while running. Try again. And you have to remember your training. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem Look at this feet. But with persistence and the force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now. And he has a beard as well. Which you must to reach me. Just have to jump. Reach my position. I did it. Persistence and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Yeah, sadly you. you um, okay, so I think I've played about five hours to get to this point. Look at look at this. No, whoa, what is that? I don't want to go there. Okay. You still have to be careful. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Bye, little dragon. See you soon. used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Well, yeah. And I think now we can just climb up. Is there something I needed from that other side? I don't know. Like I said, it's very hard to explore the first planet fully the first time you come over here. Because there are many pathways that you need to unlock. Ah, this is pretty fun. I'm not sure if that's used for something. This bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. <laughs> I guess they just repeat what he said. I guess you cannot jump on top of it. I can reach that one. See, this is what I mean. I'm, I'm remembering most of the things. I'm remembering my Jedi training, but I don't remember how to get to them. Sadly.
I mean, I only have four slow. Maybe I need four something else. Yeah, I think I have to come here a lot later. Let's get out of here. See, this is what I'm talking about. We, I lose so much time. I think we can also explore some of the other things over here. I hate it when he does that, so sometimes he'll just do this cheesy, very very cheesy attack where he basically sp spams the same move. That's not a good trick, my friend. So, well, I guess you are spamming the same move on him as well, so I guess it's fair. You dodged it. Yeah, it's... Okay, so I think this... This fight is annoying the first time you do it, or the first five times you do it. Because you don't have enough space to dodge and your blocking is not good enough to block it. So, that's why after you get the improved blocking and maybe another skill or two, it gets so much easier. Okay, now I have to take revenge on him because he killed me two times in a row. And we don't appreciate that. Four times in a row, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he, he does this weird thing where he just... Just moves or just glitches out. I remember spending so much quality time with this guy. I remember watching a movie, an entire movie, and then leveling up to level 5, and then never finishing the game. I don't know why I did that. Like I said, you'll be very, very high level when you finish the game. You just have to... Be patient enough. Ha, I got you now. Hey. Uh, they're also pretty annoying because of that thing. I was pressing F, but I forgot. I mean, I wanted to press F, but I forgot to press F. Oh, I don't think this is the right way. That will just take us up the elevator shaft and I don't want that. Okay, I think we have... We have had enough fun. And we're close to leveling up. I wish you would make this a little faster. And also not flash in your eyes because if it's the, if it's the middle of the night you'll definitely not enjoy it. Also you can simply jump over this thing, you don't have to slowly walk over it. Okay, give me another useless lightsaber piece. 
was in there. Useless. Yeah, so I guess you have to go and use the elevator. I said no. Well, I panicked a little bit and that's why I made a mistake. How do I get there again? Don't worry, we'll get to you. Well, I'm not sure I... Stim here. Way too close. Flashing again. <laughs> oh man, it took me so much time to learn the proper pathway when I first played. Oh. Sometimes they just don't want to leave you alone. I think that's it. We have approached see there. the ancient vault. Oh, it's on. Yeah, but before we do that, let's explore the this part a bit as well. If I remember correctly, that's nothing at all on top of this place, but. <laughs> Doing it for the scenic view. That's a nice skeleton. Yeah, it's old. It's old and it's dead. What a surprise. Ah, huh, what is this? is this we have over here? Well, if it's an abandoned workshop, they did a very bad job of finding it. That's not moving. Oh, how I love when they tell me that. I have a bad feeling that is a trap over there. Okay. You know what I think? <laughs> The more you play the game, the more you realize there's not only one Jedi here, is it? There surely must be more than one.
Anyway, you know the story. It doesn't open from this side. You have to... You have to sell... Um, now. Okay. You have to sell your soul, buy a baby goat, I don't know, raise it until it's two, uh, five years old and then make the best cheesecake out of goat milk that you can make and then offer it to this guy over here. And then he will let you enter the door, I don't know. And that's the ship over there. Yeah, like I keep saying, the game does a great job at showing you things and telling you things, but it does a lousy job at, you know, letting you explore. Fifty percent explored. Imagine that. And <laughs> remember, you still have to come back to this planet after you unlock some other abilities, I think. And the map doesn't show you everything you need to know. That's another problem. I guess it's time to end the video. Bye.